welcome to our brand new show, the Trackman Virtual Pro Series, presented by BMW and brought to you from our state-of-the-art new studio here in Copenhagen. Let me tell you how excited we are to be bringing you a new look golfing tournament to show you how we have reinvented how a golfing tournament can be played. My name is Rachel Stringer and I'll be your host today and I'm so excited for this one. Has he got it? Oh, that's a nice putt. Little fist pump there. Now look at it. Now look at it. He might have made it. Oh, he has. Is he coming back off there? He's trying to. He has dipped it in. Just turned in. Oh, he said, oh, my goodness. You are kidding me. Yeah, a little cheeky smile. The hat is off from Soren. He just stepped up and hit one of the shots of the day. What a golf shot. Are you kidding me? Go in. That is shot of the day. Ooh, everyone just settle down. This is going to be fantastic. So today's very unique tournament is going to be brought to you on the world's most sought after simulator, Trackman. But first, I want to introduce to you a good friend of mine and someone who'll be joining me throughout this tournament, golfing personality himself, Seb Carmichael Brown. Seb, how are you doing? Great. Can we just take a second to look around at this studio? This place is unbelievable. I am so, so excited about this. But, Seb, then there are no greens in sight. So it's very unusual, isn't it, for a golfing tournament to be played in a setting like this. Who needs greens when you've got the Trackman facility? The courses are looking immaculate. I mean, Trackman's already really innovated and completely changed the way that the top level golfers learn their swings, the way they improve. It's really revolutionised the way the pros prepare for tournaments. We're now possibly looking to revolutionise how they even play in tournaments. So this is, this is new, this is groundbreaking. Well, I mentioned we're completely reinventing how a golfing tournament can be played, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, indoors, going to be a lot fast-paced. We're playing match play. It's going to be very, very aggressive. Um, it's going to go quick and it's going to be sh fire, 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 non-stop action. Short, sharp, snappy is exactly what we're after today. How excited are you for this tournament? Yeah, I'm at a nine now, but when the boys come out, I might get to that ten number. Well, I'm at eleven, so let's go and show off this studio, OK? Like, walk this way. So this is one of the bays that Trackman is going to be played on. We are so lucky. This studio is absolutely awesome. The scale of it is phenomenal as well. We have two of these bays, which means we can actually have games going on simultaneously, and that's exactly what you're going to be seeing later on because let me tell you exactly how today's tournament is going to be played. We have four pro players for you who will be taking part today, which we're so excited to introduce to you in a short while. And then we're going to have two semi-finals followed by the grand finale, the big one, the final. Semi-finals are going to be taking place on the Liberty National Course and in the finals on the Wentworth West Course. But I must mention as well, all the games today are going to be taking place 18 at whole match play. Seb, I know you're a massive fan of match play. Tell me, how does match play differ from stroke play? So obviously stroke play, you know, accumulative all the shots for a round, you know, every single stroke matters. Match play, not so much. You know, you just got to win the hole. So it's, as I said, all about aggressive golf. It doesn't really matter if you lose the hole by two, three or four, it's just going to be one hole down. We may even not see every game go all the way to the end. Um, it's going to be fast and furious. Well, it is about the players, but I want to put you under pressure right now. We see you all over YouTube, telling everyone how good you are. I so mean, I'm, what? You're going to stand back crucifying here. me here. There's low expectations here. They're Come high on. expectations from me, just FYI. Woo! Oh, go on then, that'll work. Up you get. Roll out, roll out. I'll take it. I'm happy with that, Rach, to be honest. It's not too bad. I'm not embarrassed myself, have I? You made it look actually not too difficult. I just need to hit that one. To be honest, that is probably going to be the biggest thing for them to adapt to here, is the greens. Well, who can make that adaption is the key question, but for now, let's hold here and go and find out exactly who our four pro players are. Let's welcome to stage our first player, Soren Kelsen, four times European Tour champion. And our second player, Lucas Buregard, two times European Tour champion. And our third player from Sweden, our only Swedish player, Marcus Kinholt, 2019 Swedish Player of the Year. And finally, our youngest player of the tournament at 19 years of age, Nikolai Hoygaard. These are our four pro players for the first ever Trackman Virtual Pro Series. Welcome, all of you. OK, this is pretty exciting for me. I'm not sure how you guys are feeling right now. Marcus, the only Swedish player here, the other guys are Danes. Um, surely you want to kind of put your stamp down for your country? Yeah, I feel a bit outnumbered, obviously. So uh, 
There's uh, everything to win. Lucas, this setting is something that you're not particularly used to. You're usually out in the elements, out in the green, getting a suntan in here. It's dark and it's beautiful though, isn't it? It is, it is. And it's, as you said, it's very different. It's fast paced and, uh, you know, not, not what we're used to. So it'll be a lot of fun. So we have our four pro players here, but currently we have no idea who is going to be playing who in the semi-finals. So we thought we'd decide this with a great old fashioned, very simple game called Closest to the Pin. Nikolai, as our youngest, you going to go first? Yep. Let's have a look. Can he get in tight? Going a little to the left now. Needs to jump up. OK, it's on the green. Not too bad. OK. Marcus, after you're going to go in age order here, I think. Let's see it. Yep. OK, that's on a really nice line. Is it up? Leaking a bit to the right. Needs to go a bit. Go on, get up on there. Get up there. OK. That is a bunker. And we can see clearly now that it's further away. Yep. So, Nicola, you're still in pole position. Lucas, let's see what you got. Well, that sounded like a nice contact there. Yeah, that's looking good. That's going to be our leader so far, I think. Right, OK, is it going to keep going? Right, 14, right. 14 yards, I think that is. Pretty good, Sorry, Pretty You now know the target. Yes, I like that. I was going to say, were you yeah. quite happy about going last there? Because you yeah. know what you've got to do, right? Yeah. It's gone up nice and high. It's going to go on. He's got to come back from there. It's on no oh, bunker as well. Good for distance. I think we have our winner there. Lucas, well played. Congratulations. Yeah. That does now mean you get to pick who you want to be your opponent in the first semi-final. Who is your selection? I think I'll go with the uh, old man at the end there. OK. A little old Brave. boys match. Soren, how do you feel about that? He's picked you. What are your thoughts? Well, he obviously picked me as the weakest link, so... Yeah, I take a little bit of offence on that, but, uh, you know, the guy hits it 50 yards past me, so he should really beat me, so... I like the odds. Well, I'm, I'm very interested to see how that one goes out. Best of luck to you, you guys. Before we get into the actual, we're going to take a quick look at Liberty National as a golf course, the host for our two semi-finals. Well, it is nearly semi-final time, but we just have enough time to talk a little bit more about the course that both semi-finals will be played on. It is, of course, the Liberty National course in Newark in America. And this, Seb, is a course with a view, isn't it? it overlooks the Manhattan skyline. It is said to be one of the most expensive golf, co golf courses in history. I mean, it's a phenomenal golf course. It's hosted some fantastic, fantastic events, multiple FedEx Cup venues, a President's Cup, uh, the Northern Trust this year, Dustin Johnson, a record-breaking 30 under par. There are four par fives, so there's scores to be made here. Lots of eagles as well, potentially. I'm going to put you under, under more pressure. I've already put you under pressure on the simulator over there. I want to know your power ranking. Who do you think is going to bring the goods today? I'll be honest, this is tough. This is tough for a couple yeah, of reasons. Is. One, they're all really good. Uh, two, they can all hear me. <laughs> uh, so it's really, really tough to divide between these guys. And you can honestly, honestly, honestly make an argument for all of them. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here. Yes, please. I'm actually going to back as my number one power ranking the only one of them that hasn't had a European Tour win. Uh, Nikolai. I fancy Ooh. Nikolai here. I think his long hitting is going to be big. Uh, he looks like he's got a bit of confidence about him, looking at him, uh, watching him and talking to him earlier. So he's my number one pick. My number two is going to be a then going to experience. Okay. Uh, Soren Kelson. He's, uh, as I said, been there and done it all. If we get to the final, he's played in that BMW event 22 years in a row. Two top tens there. The guy oozes class, he's not going to be phased by anything. I think as much as he's not a bigger hitter like the other guys, I think all the all-rounded um, elements to his game will definitely come in. So he's my number two pick. OK, number three. I mean, it's really tough <laughs> for all these guys. Like, please don't take this personally. Uh, number three, I'm going to go for Lucas, purely because, again, of the distance. He's probably just a little bit below. He's averaging about 309 yards to Nikolai's 326. That's quite a big difference. Uh, but I think that high power hitting, although Lucas has not got great form at Wentworth. So if he gets to the final, that could be interesting to see. Uh, which means, of course, number four is Marcus. But don't get me wrong, I will not be surprised if Marcus wins this whole thing. But I've got to rank him somewhere. That's what I've gone for. Well, Marcus is not going to be your friend after you've just given Sorry, your Marcus. power ranking there. Uh, that's who Seb has picked as his favourites. But it's now time to find out who the players think is the one to watch. The TrackMan technology is, is, is unbelievable and to take it to the next level here, you know, competing against guys that you compete against outside, it's, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot of fun. You can expect uh, aggressive, I'll come out swinging, hitting, uh, hitting long drives and going for pins, that's for sure. We're playing match play, so I guess depending on how the other 
player is playing, uh, I, I think uh, you can always adjust your strategy a little bit. I think you gotta play aggressive. You gotta go at it 110%. So, uh, so that's my that's my style today. Aggressive stuff off the tee, and trying to be a bit more aggressive all around. The other guys can know how to play golf pretty good, so. It's going to be tough. I think Soren has a bit of an advantage. He's more experienced in this than I think some of, of us young guys. I think uh, Soren will uh, win this tournament. Uh, he's the most experienced player, so uh, I think he has a good chance. I've played a lot of golf in my life, and uh, if experience is worth anything, I think I've got the upper hand. You know, they're still a little bit wet behind the ears, so uh, that's, I think that's, that's why I'm the favourite. Soren, you picked by Lucas here. He think, I think it was tactical. Well, like I said, I mean, I felt like I was picked as the weakest link, and obviously that's not very nice, but uh, I think it's part of his, uh, his strategy, sort of just trying to put a little bit of pressure on me, so that's okay. Okay. Lucas, do you think it feels a bit like you're walking up to the first tee? I'm starting to feel a little bit now. It, uh, the nerves are, are definitely there, so it'll be, uh, we'll have fun, that's for sure. But I'm not going to keep you any longer. It is time, guys, to kick off this event. It is time for the first ever semi-final here at the Trackman Virtual Pro Series. We can't wait for this one. Good luck, both of you. Thank you. The ball goes forward, the tee goes backwards, uh, taking it down the right-hand side there, bringing it back into this dog leg right. Needs to sit down a little bit. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, the adrenaline is there, guys. There is the first proof. Adrenaline is there through the fairway for the so-called shortest hitter in the field. Could that be a little message? Hang on a minute, guys. I can get it out there as well. Don't you worry about me. There is a, definitely a different club selection for Lucas, who is obviously the bigger hitter. He's taking a pretty aggressive line down the right-hand side in there. Sit ball. Um, but, oh, no way. A double bounce off the other side of the water, back to this side of the water and into the hazard. Wow. Wow, it's like a game of chess. I feel like I'm watching Queen's Gambit. Already, opening move, Rook takes pawn straight away, <laughs> and Lucas is dropping early doors. Yeah, 114 in now as Lucas is about to hit his approach. He needs to hit this in tight now. A bit of pressure. OK, that one's on its way. Looks on a very nice line. Is it up enough? It should be. It needs to be close, really. Inside nine feet, it will be given. That's probably going to be just outside of the nine feet range, I think. Soren just goes through his pre-shot routine. 108 yards. This one I expect to come up slightly short. No need to get too aggressive on this one. I'll tell you what, take that back. He's hit it in tight, and that, I think, is going to be inside the gimme range, and that will be first blood to Mr Soren Kelson. I think that will be one up. We're now going to cast our attention over to bay number two, where the youngsters are prepping. They're warming up. They're getting ready, looking awesome. What can we expect from these two youngsters? I just need to calm down a minute. <laughs> How cool was that start? We had a drop shot. We had an unbelievable approach. <laughs> Whew, everyone just settle down. This is going to be fantastic. Right, yeah, Nikolai's my man. I picked him earlier. Uh, I want to just prefix that. This is so difficult to pick between these four guys. Anything can happen. They're all incredible players. And, you know, to the, to the extent where Marcus was my fourth pick, he's played the best this year. He's the most informed player, probably. So what do I know? Marcus, from what you've seen, are you excited to get going? Yeah, I'm definitely excited. I'm not sure about the club selection here on the first, but Nikolai is going first. So I'll, uh, I'll watch him and I'll uh, make a decision after that. Yeah, and Nikolai, the fact that I've said put you number one, OK, yeah. he, he likes to analyse all you, you guys, obviously, out there in your professional careers. Must be pretty happy with the fact that he placed you number one. Yeah, I'm really happy with Seb. Yeah, um, hopefully I can, I can do it do it today and um, I'll just do my best trying to, trying to beat Sweden first and... Uh, Hopefully one of those guys. OK, guys, it is time to tee off for our second semi-final. Can't wait for this one. OK, it's off. It's going... Yeah, it's looking a pretty nice, pretty straight shot there. I think it may have been three wood for Nikolai, right in the middle of the fairway. The first person to hit a fairway on the opening shot. That's, that's what I want to see from my pick. I want to see him calm and relaxed. Nice opening tee oh. shot away. Another pretty good shot there, maybe just going down the left-hand side, but that'll be no problem at all, as long as it misses that bunker. Stay out of the bunker, stay out of it. Oh, he's got a nice kick back there. That'll be in, that'll be a nice shot back up the hill for this uh, second shot. 
Are you loving this, Seb? This is incredible. You're loving it, aren't it's incredible. you? Incredible, it's so good. And it's not just for fun because the prize purse itself is 16,000 US dollars, which Seb, um, will be pretty nice, won't it? A little bit of pocket money for these guys to take home. I think this is all about pride for them. They want to beat their fellow countrymen and the Swedish man, of course. Uh, they want to be the first winner of this pro series because uh, that's, that's, that's a nice thing to be, you know? First one ever, it's pretty cool. Nikola hits a very nice shot in there. It's got to go a little bit, has it? No, that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. It won't be inside the gimme range, so we'll have a putt to make, but not I too bad. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Marcus is going to give him the line, he thinks. He's that's 53 feet. A bit uphill, right? You have to play 58. 58 feet. There you can see the caddy masters there from Trackman. They are the caddies for both players. Going to be giving them advice and guidance on the system where it's needed. It's on its way, and the guys will just be looking to cozy this up, and that's a pretty good effort there. If that stays inside the nine feet, he's clicking his fingers. Is it going to hold on? Is it held on? I'm not too sure whether that one is held on or not. Whether we'll have to wait and see if that one will be inside the nine feet range or not. On its way. Has he allowed for that bit of extra break? See, once again, it's not broken in, but that is safely inside. So that one definitely will be given in a four. So that'll be a nice solid four that's for Nicola on the first. Nice putt, that. Is it going to turn back as well? Oh, just not quite hit. Not quite hit for Marcus. That's a tough one, but a pretty good putt. He will go one down there on the first hole. Big off the left, downhill. Is that going to get there, Rach? The answer to that question is probably, possibly, <laughs> maybe, no. I had to just delay a bit there, because I thought it might have kept going there. So I read that one better than I gave him credit for. Now, Luke has got a bit of a straighter one off the right here to win the hull. It's on its way already. No time wasted here. He's made some putts already today, but not that one. It is also finished. That will be a halved. There it goes. It is moving to the left, and it's got to carry. I think it should do. Oh, there's, it's gone too much, maybe. Oh, no. Where's it going to come down? Soft. Soft. OK. I mean, that's, that's OK. That's OK there. He's missed the water. Soren with a more sensible line down the right hand side. Maybe too sensible. Is it drawing back? I think it is. And the wind's going to help it as well. That's a very, very nice shot there. It's come back off the right hand side into the fairway. Soren takes dead aim with that nine iron. The wind's got to leave it alone. Oh, he doesn't like it. Get back. There's the lean. Oh, no. And uh, Soren, you're right. You are one down. You might be about to be two down. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Finds off a bunker and now in the water. Yeah. Uh, you can see this will be affected by the slope. It will go off to the right a little bit more, and that's a, probably a pretty safe thing. Just hit it to the middle of the green. Very sensible shot there from Lucas. Thank you. Very sensible shot indeed. <laughs> Plays the percentages. Going to roll down this hill now. Had to be aggressive and give it a chance, but I think that will be all we need to see on this hole. That's going to be another one hole for Lucas there. Uh, we're going over to the other match now. And this is an opportunity for Nikolai to get one in tight here on this par three. 179 yards. Looks on a fairly good line. Needs to come back a bit. Downwind, almost nine miles an hour here. And that's a very nice shot into the heart of the green. So Marcus would have seen what the wind did to Nikolai's ball there, but he's not got that one right. That's sort of fanned out to the right-hand side. A little bit short, a little bit right. And now we're going to see what is probably going to be the challenge they'll face most of the day is the tricky up and down shots. Sort of chip and run here by Marcus. He's played that really nicely. If it checks up, which it has done, is it going to be inside the number, though? It's going to be seven feet. I think that should be given, which means now Nikolai has a putt for the hole. On its way. Bit too far to the right. Now it's coming back. He might have made it here. He might have made it here. Oh, he has! And uh, not quite a fist pump, but a little foot raise here and a, a clap from his opponent. Very well deserved. A little tip of the cap <laughs> from Nikolai as well. He goes three up. Well played, sir. Well played indeed. What a beautiful backdrop you can see again there. Par five, definitely one that Lucas will think he's got an advantage on. And Soren just got to do what he's got to do. Hit the fairway. Oh, just, just slipped off. Just slipped off. Not too bad. Bang. Into the skyline in the background on its way. Is it too big? Needs to sit down now. Has he done his maths right? I think he has. Oh. And that now oh. is an absolutely huge advantage for Lucas, who has got one right, right down there now. 
Very nice shot on its way. He's looking at it. It's starting to come back. It's just going to run down the left-hand side, which is a pretty good miss. He's left room to work with there. He's left an uphill pitch, as long as he's got a decent lie, which I think he should have here. But this is where the power that we spoke about earlier can really come into force. Soren hitting a four iron. Lucas is going to have... He's going to be an eight iron. Four club difference. Don't rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what a weapon to have, eh? Are you jealous of that driver? Well, if I say no, I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> can he make it count? Out to the left-hand side. Hasn't wanted to come back. The wind's not really done what he maybe thought it's done there. And that's a bit unfortunate, I'd say, for Lucas there. On its way. Coming, Chloe. That's a nice, nicely played oh. shot there. Just run on a little bit. Oh, that's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Has he overdone it? Has he played it well? He's overdone it a little bit, but it should be enough to be inside the eight feet, will it? We'll have to take a look. Really tricky shot, this. Is that too much? No, it looks like it's really nicely gone. Oh, that's unlucky. I'm surprised by that one, Soren. I thought you played that really nice. Yeah, I was pretty happy with it. Oh, 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 oh. On its way. Has he got it? Oh, that's a nice putt. I thought he'd make it, and he has. A little fist pump there from Lucas. Well played indeed. We are now playing the ninth hole. Oh, nice. Look at that ball flight. That's really nicely played. Wind just knocking it off the left a little bit towards the end, but as long as that stays in the fairway, which it will. Uh, that's a nice strike down there. He knows that the wind's going to bring it off the right-hand side. Well, he thought it did, because it did. They Look, the wind's changed. You can see there on the right-hand side, it's gone from being off the right to almost down into it. He's gone for a little drive down the path there. You can see he's playing for the fade here, aiming left. He's hit the low one. He's missed the branch, which is the first thing, and he's just sort of nudging it down there to get in range. And the uh, objective has all of a sudden turned there for Nikolai, from birdie to now scrambling for his par. On its way. Looks pretty good. Maybe a little left here. And that one's just going to miss the green. And you have to say, possibly a missed opportunity there. Wanted to sit straight away. It's landed just past the flag and it has rolled on. And once again, we're seeing the guys struggle to control the distance from around the green. And now, I wonder if we'll see a putt here. Third shot to win the hole. I'll tell you what, it's a pretty good putt. It's coming back, it's trying for him. What a good effort from Marcus Kinholt there. Now, Nikolai here has to make this putt, or else his lead has gone from three to zero. <laughs> this is getting close. Wasting no time, has he? Absolutely. He's hit it down there. Is he coming? It's coming. It's coming. What a putt. What oh! a putt. Oh, 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 the fingers up. The ball goes Seven down. Up. That is fantastic. Marcus can't believe it. What a, what a great putt that it is from Nikolai, and he keeps his lead going into the back nine. Big doesn't like it. He's going a little left. Where's it going to come down? It's going to get in that bunker, is it? Yep, that's a pretty good miss from there. The interesting thing here, Rach, is the layup isn't that appealing because there's all the bunkers, all the water. You're better off hitting the driver just going over all the muck and you just get it down there as far as you can. Look at that from Soren. OK, big shot here in the match here, Rach. Big, big shot. Is he going to release for him? He's going to try. He's going to try. He's got to try a little harder. Get that next ridge. Oh, he can't believe it. He's really not had the rub of these greens. Not a bad chip at all there. Just needed to release a couple more yards. It would have gone all the way down pin high. Oh, he wants it to sit. He wants it to go. Is he going to get down the hill? I'll tell you what. I think it's one of those good, bad ones. Because he wasn't happy with it. A little cheeky smile. The hat is off from Soren. And that's going to be in stone dead range for his birdie, which means, Rach, that this putt has to go in or our first finalist will have been crowned. Got to come back. It's trying, you know. It's trying. Oh, it's a really good effort. Gave it a chance. But that will be that in semi-final number one. The hat is off. The fist bumps are out. Really good match there. 
in which Lucas Beauregard is crowned our first, uh, our first finalist. Congratulations, Lucas. Thank you. You are semi-final number one winner. <laughs> it looked like there your tactics played out perfectly. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, obviously I chose wisely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, we had a lot of fun and uh, uh, I hold a, a, a couple of nice uh, putts and, uh, and a wedge shot, so that was nice. Yeah, for, for, like, for sure, we loved watching it. So and tell us how it was. Yeah, I felt it. I mean, uh, you know, I felt like in that competitive spirit, it was great. And, uh, and the thing is, like, you only get that if it's, you know, really accurate. And it really is. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Well, Lucas, Soren, congratulations. Obviously, Lucas, Thank you. we will see you in the final. Can't wait for that one. Soren, commiserations, but it was great to watch you and you, you're you. a great sportman here today. Thanks Thank you much. so much. Thank you. On its way. It's come out of that one a little bit. And that's come out of that one a lot. Ooh. It's OB, it looks like. All right, take two. That's the one he wanted. That's the one he wanted. Look at this one. It's going to clear all of the trouble and leave a pretty simple... That's the one he wanted. Just 27 seconds too late. Good, solid strike. And objective number one for Marcus will be to find the fairway, and it's objective complete. Doesn't quite have the distance to fly over the bunker, but it does not matter when you hit it as straight as that. Marcus just needs to go through the motions here, but this looks like a little bit more than that on a fantastic line into the heart of the green. Very nicely played there. Doesn't need to take that back right pin on at all. Uh, he will probably have a nice two-putt par there. Had to be aggressive with that line, had to go at it, and the wind's pushed it off to the right, and that will almost certainly now be a lost hole for Nikolai, and after getting back to level again, he will now go one down with three holes to play. All Marcus needs to do is find the fairway, and it's a really impressive display. We get a little bit of an extra glimpse of Statue of Liberty there. What a shot that is. I mean, he's really turned it on down the stretch there. 311 yards right down there. No more room for error for Nikolai. That is an absolutely munched hit. Then all of a sudden we see it fully unleashed. Look how far this one's gone. This one has flown in the air past Marcus's ball. A little bit unlucky. 334 yards. Wow. Absolute munched hit. 126 yards. Started right drawing back. This looks better than average. This looks phenomenal. It's just run on a little bit and it's grabbed enough. Now I don't think that's going to be inside gimme range. Nikolai has to hit this one, stone dead. Is it going a little left? That's not going to get the job done, unfortunately, for Nikolai. And now he's going to have to simply get this ball to go straight in the hole or else this match will be over. Oh, it's an oh my goodness! You are kidding me! What on earth? We saw him hit two great pitch shots. He just stepped up and hit one of the shots of the day. Absolutely sensational. <laughs> it's out to the left. It's not going to come back that far. My goodness. The drama continues. Nikolai, well played, sir. That was very, very good. Six iron from Marcus Kinholt on a really nice looking line. Now's the time to flush one. Where's it going to come down? It's a brilliant shot, but it has just rolled on. And where's it going to finish here? Look at the undulations we spoke about. That's come down to probably a flatter lie, actually. A really nice shot there. The adrenaline's just kicked in all of a sudden. What a good time this would be to hit a good iron shot. But you know what? He hasn't done that. That's, uh, is it going to just grab a piece of the green? The wind is get. Oh, you know what? It has. It snuck back. And now look at it. If it sits, it stays on the putting surface. It's going to keep going. Good shot. Though. It's a really good shot. He hasn't done it again, has he? He hasn't done it again, has he? Oh, he nearly has. And out of nowhere, we said the guys would figure it out. Nikolai has figured it out. The short game is brilliant. That's in for a four. Marcus Kinholt, nicely played. Does he hold it? He's done very, very well. And that will be given. I think that's it. The hats are off. What a finish we had to that game. Congratulations, Marcus. You are in the final. Commiserations, Nikolai. I mean, what an awesome matchup we just watched there. Nikolai, I'm going to go to you first. Mm -hmm. What a roller coaster yeah. of a match. You were three up after four holes. Just tell us how it unfolded for you. 
I would say I didn't play that good all round. I was just putting well in the start, rolling putts from everywhere, and uh, Marcus was just playing steady. He just played decently. I couldn't keep up with him. Well, he did play decently. He's in the final. He played excellently. But Marcus, yeah, opposite question, I guess. You were three down with four holes. How did you kind of mentally come back from that and make it into the final? Well, like Nikolai said, I think I played just steady all, all, uh, all round. I got off to a great start. Um, so I got a little bit scared there. And um, yeah, it was a tight game. I'm quite exhausted now, to be honest. Um, but happy to come out on top. Yeah. The final now is decided. We have a Swede going up against a Dane. It is time for the first ever Trackman Virtual Pro Series final presented by BMW. It's time to bring out our two finalists. From Denmark, Lucas Buregaard. And our second finalist from Sweden, Marcus Kinnolt. Congratulations, both of you, for being here today. We've just watched the semi-finals. They were absolutely awesome. Obviously, Lucas, you defeated Soren Kelsen there in that semi-final. You know, this is a, a, a final we can't wait for. Yeah, yeah feeling good. Uh, you know, Soren is a strong opponent, so it was nice to beat him. And now I'll try to defend Denmark's honour against the against the Swede. Marcus, we've just heard there, you know, he's out to defeat you. Obviously, we've got a Dane taking on a Swede. Well... Two Danes down, one to go. Oh, fighting <laughs> talk. OK, let's begin. Some trash talk there. That was fantastic. Marcus, Two Danes down, one to go. Marcus, I take it all back. You're my favourite. You're my favourite. Ouch. <laughs> it's an iconic tee shot, this. The massively impressive Wentworth clubhouse behind the guys. The landing area, you want to sort of get this one if you can, down that hill and have a really short shot in. The members play this hole as a par five, but in the tournament, playing it's a par four, and it's playing as a par yeah. four today, it seems, as well, um, which is how the pros tend to play this in competition play. On its way, Lucas Buregard, let's see where this one goes. He's going to get down the hill. He's gone a little to the right, but the wind or some draw has brought that one in. Is it going to catch the slope? And there it goes. See ya! <laughs> On its way, all the way down. No, it's going to stop, which means he will have a much shorter shot but a slightly what? trickier lie to deal with there. On its way. Into the heart of the green. That's a pretty solid shot from the distance he had left in there. That is a, is that a little short. Is he going to run up there? A bit of a false front to this green. It gets up the hill. It hasn't quite got there. Didn't come out in the middle of the face, I don't think, there for Lucas. We've seen Lucas chip in in his semi-final match against Soren Kelsen. And this is a nice chip on its way. And that's the sort of stuff we're used to seeing in traditional golf. That's the stuff we're now seeing. Now the guys have had that 18-hole loosener. That's going to be a stone dead in for a four. Uh, Marcus will have a putt to win the hole still. So it's 21. On its way off the left. It's going to come back off there. It's a really nice looking putt. Just stopped turning straightened at the end there. Pretty good roll there from Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lucas has given him that one. I think that's going to be halved in fours on this first hole. A very friendly start. Is it going to turn back? We've seen a lot of shots left out to the right. And there's another one. Just needs to miss the path and avoid a really horrible bounce. He's got a little bit of green to work with there, but he won't be happy with that. Starts on a really strong line here, a really strong line. The wind should help improve it a little bit. Wants it to sit. I think that's absolutely fantastic. That's a great shot really from Lucas good. Buregard. Nice. Really, really nice shot in there. Sounded a little skinny. Is it going to stop from there? Oh, he's grabbed up absolutely brilliantly. Skinny, no chance. That one's perfect. That one a little bit better, he's got it past the hole, but once again, another halved hole rage. All too friendly for my liking so far. Here's a three wood, I believe, down the right hand side. And you can see there's a really tiny little slither of fairway if they lay back too much. And he's taking it on, he's got to sit now, he's grabbed his heels. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's held on, little chuckle. He's got away with one there, three wood and get it all the way down there. Good hit. 
on its way down there. It's just got to get past the ridge. I think this is really nicely positioned here. Just needs to bounce out of that rough down the fairway. Well played, sir. Very nicely done. It's going to leave a fuller shot in out of the, the short uh, grass. But also, 100%. crucially for Marcus, uh, yeah. he'll be hitting first. Good old hit. Starting to the right. Is it going to work back for him? Is he going to use that nudge and bend it in? Is he going to stay out there? Is he gonna, here's the nudge. Here's the nudge. Oh, it stopped. You can see that is the shoulder you could possibly use to feed it in. Has it got to go? Has it got to go? Oh, it did, but now look at it. Now look oh. at it. <laughs> From a moment, it looked like it was going to get soggy, but now it's rolled on past, but it's kept on going. Nice pace down there. Looks like it's got to go a little bit. It's going to be, I mean, it's Trez Avarage there, I will say. Not his best, but probably good enough to guarantee the four. Whacked out there, that will not be enough. You need even more than that. And now look at it roll away. It needs to sit, sit, sit. It's kept going. That is not going to be inside gimme distance, I don't think. And she has done. I think he's got a chance coming back. Oh, it was a good try. Just didn't move at all for him. A little rub of the year here. Surprising stuff. But that will be it. Lucas in for his par. It's another drop shot for Marcus, who finds himself two down now. Good, solid shot. That looks a tremendous line. Right down the middle. Lots of bunkers to navigate here, but I think if we're out on the traditional golf course, Lucas might have just marched on after that one there, let his caddy catch up with him. <laughs> He's very, very pleased with that. 3-2-3. Three, three. He's taken a lot of the trouble out of this ninth here. Not, Rach, let me tell you, this ninth has killed me. This, I've, had, I've four putted this screen. Why is it so it, difficult? I don't know. I'm rubbish at golf, probably, <laughs> is the main reason for that. Seb, don't say that. It's a, it's a tricky You're an green. expert. You're a personality. <laughs> you, you're not rubbish at golf. Compared to these guys, I definitely <laughs> am. Yeah, nicely done there from Marcus. Just needs to steady the ship here. This needs to just sit a little. I think he's going to. That's fine. He's going to hit in first. He needs to just go back to basics here. Fairways and greens, fairways and greens. What he's done well all, all day. This one is on a good line. He needs to sit a little bit. There is a big slope behind this green. If he hits it, he could roll down it. And there it is, Rach. He's down in Seb country. That's where I was. But I was there in three. He's only there in two. I love the pace of Lucas Bugar just stepping up and ripping it. And this is nice. Leaking right as well. Needs to get a soft bounce or he could be down there as well. Is he going to sit there? It has held on. It has held on. It sounded delightful. Just clipped over that ridge and rolling out. That's a really, you know what? I think he's unlucky there. I think he deserved more from there. Clipped brilliantly off that tight lie. There it goes. Has he started this one out right enough? I think he has. Has he hit it though? Possibly not. I think that was the right line, wrong pace. But at this point, Lucas Beauregard is two up <laughs> over Marcus Kinholt in this, uh, in this final match, Rage. Bosh is nicely over the bank. This one should stop quickly for him. Oh, what a golf shot from Marcus Kinholt. Absolutely sensational out of the bunker. I think the decision made for him by just the quality of shot from Marcus there. No alternative but to go straight at it. And he's gone straight at it. What a golf shot. What a response. We saw Lucas respond to a really solid iron shot from Soren Kelsen earlier on. He's done it once again here in the final. Off the right-hand side, has he given it enough? He's got, no, not quite, just shaves the left edge that is going to be given. What a response that from Lucas. Wow, fantastic, fantastic birdie. And he regains his two-up lead. Out to the right, is he going to come back for him? It hasn't. Yeah, there is a t there's a few tiers on this green. It's hard to use those tiers from out there on the right, I'm afraid. Good strike on a nice line. Is it going to get up enough? It's got to go and it hasn't. It has. It hasn't. <laughs> it nearly did. It tried everything for him. He probably won't be overly disappointed just because of where Lucas is. But let's not forget what we've seen Lucas <laughs> do from the trees. I almost think he's doing it on purpose now. He's just showing off. Yeah. He wants to do it from the trees here. Oh, that's really nice. He's just a little bit unlucky. It's rolled away and it needs to settle down now. There we go. Got a chance. Turns in. Has he done it? Very nicely done. Oh, no. Don't think he's hit it. No, not his best shot. And that will be a hole back to Marcus now.
out there. I think he's just playing this one to stay short of that second bunker, and he's navigated that very well, as long as it bites up here, and he has done that. Yeah, Nicely yeah. played, bit of strategy, very good. Another really nice iron shot there. That's going to find the middle of the fairway. He needs to just make sure it sits down short of that bunker, which it will do. And crucially, Lucas Buregard will hit first here, which is often what people want to do in match play. You want to strike first, especially when you're up. Hit one in close. Keep the pressure on your opponent. From only 132 yards, you know this is a fairly gentle pin location, this one, it seems, on the 16th. He can be fairly aggressive here, I think. Out to the right. Is it going to come back? It's trying to. It's coming now. Here it comes. Oh, it's a lovely shot. It is aggressive, and you know what? That will be on the edge, Rach. You go first, you put a good shot in. Now the pressure ramps straight onto Marcus because he now simply has to hit a good shot, or else he risks being two down with only two to play. It's coming back, you know, as well. What's the distance like? It needs to go up a little bit. Oh, it's really, really impressive response there from Marcus under pressure. Simply had to hit a good shot. Has he got the line? He's just pulled it a smidge, maybe. It's not gone in. Uh, which means is Lucas... No, Lucas has got to make it. It wasn't inside gimme range. Oh, it was nine feet. The gimme range is 8.3. So Ouch. close. It's so close. But again, it is one of those more straightforward putts. It's on its way. Is it coming back off there? It's trying to. Oh! He has dipped it in, just turned in. It wiped its feet on the way in, possibly there. But Lucas Buregard goes two up with two holes to play here, and these holes are fantastic, Rach. Time to hit up, step up and hit a straight one. It's starting to go a little to the left, and it seems to be the case. The ball just stalls and goes left, but he's got away with it. I'm not entirely sure whether he'll be able to get on the green from there. He might have a look with one of his big hooky ones that he's played to such good effect so far. Marcus on its way, just needs to give himself a chance of getting this on this one in two. He's, I think, look, he's found the short stuff, but is he going to be in range? He's got a good old bounce on down there. 320, good old hit. Good hit indeed here on this par five. Solid swipe. Is it going to start coming back off the right? Looks like it's not, but it's got the distance, you know. He's got it there, that's for sure. A little soft bounce there, down into that little runoff area. Won't be a... Simple up and down, but not an impossible one. Let's see Lucas's shot here. Has he got a shot? Ooh. Of course he's got a shot. Oh, he's got one. What, what are you saying? Yeah. We've seen this time and time again from this man. That's true. And he delivers every single time. Good old hit here. It's out to the right. It's trying to come back. What a golf shot this is. What a golf shot. What a bounce that is as well. That is the Ooh. way to close out a tournament. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, my good! The hat's off already. I mean, it doesn't need to be. It's not technically yeah, over. I think you have to well, it, yeah, just finish. I think, I think he's, <laughs> it's, this is now a stay of execution here for Marcus Kinholt. Lucas Buregard, take a bow, sir. Yeah. What a golf shot that was. Surely not. It's a good effort. It's a really nice effort from a tricky light. It's rolled on a little bit. And there we go. I think that will be it. The hat is off. Lucas Buregard is your winner, Rachel. Well, that is it. What a final we just saw there for our first ever Trackman Virtual Pro Series. We have our first ever champion in the form of Lucas Buregard. Congratulations. Commiserations to Marcus Kinholt here. Runner up today, but you played absolutely fantastic. I can now hand over this check to you. A few okay. words from you, please. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, uh, it was nice to feel those nerves, and uh, it was nice to play Lucas in the final. He's a well-deserved champion. Lucas, absolutely fantastic. Congratulations on our win. Just before I give you this check, how does it feel to be our first TrackMan Virtual Pro Series champion? Yeah, it feels great. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing hopefully more of this in the future. It's been, it's been a great day. It's been a lot of fun. Absolutely. Well, we'd love to see more of the golf you played today. Congratulations again. Here is your check, our Thank champion. You. Thank you. Seb, what a day we have had there. Obviously, Lucas has been crowned our champion today. How has it been for you? I've just loved it. It's been fantastic, you know, real innovation, a different type of venue, different type of broadcast, different type of format. 
our golf has been brilliant. And the drama we've had, the chip-ins, the hole-outs, the fist pumps out of the trees, we've had it all, haven't we? We have indeed. Well, that is it for the first ever Trackman Virtual Pro Series. We hope you guys have enjoyed watching it as much as we have. Once again, congratulations to our first ever champion, Lucas Beauregard. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Rachel Stringer. This has been Seb Carmichael-Brown. Good evening.